What's going on guys? Got a new uh, protein review for you today. It's Isotor's Bioactive Whey. Uh, I got this in the promotion off Bible.com, so I, this is free to me. So I, I don't really know how it's priced right now. Um, it, it does come with 30 servings, which is kind of a lot for for the small for a small tub of protein. Um, and I'll just get into it. So the flavor I had was cookies and cream. This is uh, probably one of the best cookies and cream proteins I've had. Um, I also had Isotori's Gainer. Um, I did uh, the review like two months back. I um, can't remember what it's called right now, but <clears throat> if you look back at my other reviews, I did the Gainer. And I also had cookies and cream in that too. I believe this one does taste better. So just take that for what it is. I'd probably give the flavor a 9 out of 10. Uh, something I started doing with this is I'd put a scoop of this with a, uh, two cups of uh, non-fat uh, plain Greek yogurt and you know the, the taste is really good you know it's only like f less than 400 calories about like 380 calories and you get like 65 70 grams of protein so great 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 high protein snack you know before bed or whatever and I, I love using this um, using that the, the bioactive way to flavor it um, so yeah flavor is great mixability is just just fine um, you know, a couple of shakes and it's mixed up all the way. Um, going going to the to the macros. One scoop one scoop one scoop is thirty five grams, hundred forty calories. So pretty low in calories. Total fat is three and a half grams, two grams saturated, um, ninety five milligrams cholesterol, three grams carbs. So as you see, this isn't that clean of a protein. So if you're in there really, if your cut is like really dependent on. Um, you're really like into a cut <laughs> you can't fit those into your macros I mean that's not really for you it's not that clean of a protein I am cutting right now I'm down like 11 pounds and I've just been fitting, fitting stuff in my macros so it hasn't been the problem for me um, past the carbs you get 2 grams of sugar 25 grams of protein so pretty high in protein um, and you have calcium and your sodium and then you have your what makes this special or whatever is the bioactive peptides at 500 milligrams now it's cool that they added that in there, but according to Isotori, to get the, the full advantages of the bioactive peptides, you need 8 grams. So if you just had this and you didn't buy their separate BioGrow su supplement, you need 16, sco 16 scoops to see um, results from this. Um, so I really, I don't know if I like seeing just 500 milligrams in there. I feel like that's just stuff they can put on a label. Um, so that's about it. Uh, the ingredients are... <clears throat> Whey concentrates first, so you know it's mainly a concentrate supplement. But there is um, isolate as the next ingredient, and then uh, hydrolysate. So you know <clears throat> this isn't like the highest quality whey whey protein uh, supplement because it's, you know it's a mix. It's not just an isolate. But um, you know I had no di no digestion issues with this. Um, I feel like that the quality of the whey protein, uh, the concentrate was high. They even say high bi biological value protein. Um, so yeah, no problem. I have no problem. I like blends of whey. You know, I don't feel like paying for an isolate if I don't need it. And uh, blends don't really give me stomach problems, so that's fine um, for me. And then you know you have your like your cookie crumbs because it's the uh, cookies and cream. And then you have um, vitamin B1, vitamin B2, folic acid, sugar, palm and or canola oil, cocoa. And then you have high fructose corn syrup, which I really haven't seen in the, in the protein powder, considering it has calories and stuff like that. Um, why didn't they just use um, sucralose? Well, they did use sucralose. I just don't know why they added high fructose corn syrup in there. Um, and then you have, you know, flavors and textures. That was about it. <clears throat> so that's about it for Isotori's BioGrow. You know, it mixes perfect. Uh, I really like the, the flavor. They really hit the uh, cookies and cream on the head. It does have that kind of artificial aftertaste. I don't know, like, I managed to taste that more than other people. Like, um, other people that have taken my protein stuff, like, I'm like, hey, do you notice that weird aftertaste? They're like, no. So, I mean, maybe I can just really notice those that sucralose whatever aftertaste, but I kind of noticed that in here. But other than that, the flavor is good. Mixability is good. Um, I like this pretty high in protein, 25 grams. Um, BioGrow is cool, but they didn't really add enough to really do anything if you didn't have a separate BioGrow tub to, you know, supplement that in with this BioGrow and the whey. Um, so, you know, that's about it. 
Um, I'd probably give it just about an 8 out of 10. Uh, I, I would pick this up again if I saw it on a good deal, but I would not pay extra for it just because they add BioGrow. Because it's just, they basically pixie dust it in there, you know, it's not enough to do a whole lot by itself. So that's why the 8 out of 10, you know, pick it up if you find it on a good deal. Don't go crazy on the prices, you know. If it's a good deal, pick it up. That's about my recommendation. Thanks, guys.